I don't know. You you you, you might have got yours. No, I speak full English. Well, some English. I promise I didn't get to buy mine. <laughs> right. By the way, my name is Prince. Prince Joanna. Jo Pleasure to meet you also. Okay. So you gonna bring my baby somewhat back to life for me? Well, what, are we, what we gonna do is, to be honest with you, we gonna put some lip, lipstick on an ugly girl. Pretty much. Wow. Pretty much. No, you it's really, okay. It's painted nice and you know, you, you know you got a nice little uh, landscape going on. But you'll see the pla you'll see the driveway black. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it'll, but you it'll, won't. It'll, 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 Welcome back to your girl's channel. If my voice sounds a little raspy, it's because I am just waking up. Just waking up. You can see. So annoying. I'm gonna get these things. I'm gonna get rid of these things. I'm gonna get rid of these things. Anyways, today's Sunday. Oh, wait. If you're new to my channel, you know what I need you to do. Please go ahead and make sure you hit the subscribe button. Become a part of my journey. Here on my channel, I just basically share my beautiful life story with you guys. There's so much great things that are in stores for me so i am taking you guys along leave your comment let me know what you think all that good stuff and oh share share i need you guys to share this video so that way you know i could keep going and possibly help others as well so today is sunday sunday fun day sunday reset day and all that good stuff um so this morning they came out early to start on my driveway all i'm really doing is cleaning it up like the guy said just basically putting lipstick on the ugly job that was that's there so the importance of redoing the entire driveway because again many books i've read it just basically tells me how you know people tenants they don't really care they're gonna destroy your shit one way or another it's too early in the morning for me to be cursing but yeah so they're outside working on that my friends they want to go to some class today I'm just like uh because I think I have the electrician coming and um, I still got to get these nails done. Like one of them already handicapped right now and I'm tired of looking at this design. So uh, it's one of those blah days. I said to myself that I was <clears throat> picking up the camera Friday, which I did. I started to record and I was just all over the place. So I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to make it a Sunday vlog day. Sunday vlog day. Um, right now, I'm sending off a few of these uh, nine forms that I did. I'm sending them off. And um, hopefully, I get to make it out with my friends today. And if not, then they're just going to have to see me on the flip side. Because your girl is tired. And um, redoing this unit, prepping this unit is really taking over my weekend. Which I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. It's, it will be well worth it. It's really taking up a lot of my energy, so I'm just like, uh, I'm really not in the mood to go out how I usually be ready to go out on the weekends. <clears throat> For some reason, I'm really, really not feeling it. My main focus right now is to really get everything ready. For whatever it is that I <clears throat> whatever it is that I plan to do, either Airbnb or place a long-term tenant in there. I feel like Airbnb will be <clears throat> what's going on, girl. I feel like Airbnb will be um, more profitable for me. Only thing that have me looking at it side eye is like that means I have to furnish the entire place. Yeah. So who knows? So yeah, that's what we are doing today. Hopefully I get to go out with my friends. I kind of do and then another part of me is just like, girl, just chill. You got a long work week ahead of you. Just chill. Rest. Yeah, one thing's for sure. I'm always at Publix. I have no business in Publix. I really, really don't. But I'm always here. I don't know. For me, I feel like Publix, you know for sure you're going to get in and you're going to get out. Walmart and all them, that's when I have time. I'll go to Walmart and just browse because I know it's already 11 o'clock. Oh, my God. All right. 
So there's a few little things I was missing to finish my Sunday dinner. So quickly run and pick that up. I have to run by the bank right quick. I'm so, listen, the area I live in, I love it because it's just like everywhere. Sorry, I didn't even realize that. The area that I live in, I just love it because everything is just in arm's reach. I gotta go to the bank real quick and give these people their money for the, the driveway. And I was talking to the guy. He was telling me how so I don't want this thing to move while I'm rambling. Okay, so the driveway guy. Of course, he owns his business, so he sends out other people to do the work while he just collects the money. Of course, we all know that's how it works when it comes to the whole contractors and all that stuff, right? So, um, <clears throat> so I was he came in early and um i was talking to him basically giving me a glimpse summary of his life story and how he is dealing with a brother of his <clears throat> who um it's basically i gotta hold i don't want my camera to fall that's why I, I feel like it's gonna fall see <laughs> i don't know why it does that anyways so he was basically just telling me you know giving me a glimpse of his life story and how he has a brother that's battling addiction and i was just like damn because honestly well thank god god thank you um i no longer have a cousin that's battling drug addiction and he was just telling me how it all started and things like that how they lost their mom and the brother got really bad and i'm just like oh my god it sounds very familiar because that's what happened with my cousin after he lost his mom which is my aunt so he was just talking to me telling me how um the guy that he's working for who i originally had to to contact for the driveway how he was surprised how the guy is making x amount of money and i'm just looking at him i'm like if you know how to do this you could do this yourself and he's like yeah giving me all the excuses in the world all the excuses in the world i'm just like what are you afraid of a lot of people like fear Whew. that thing is absolutely no joke hold on i gotta run There is no front parking. Hold on, I'll be back, y'all. Yeah. All right, I'm back. Super pissed because they claimed that they increased my freaking withdrawal limit, but they did not. Hey. Oh, so more of the story is fear. Fear really gets in the way of people wanting to do things, and um, it's easy said than done. I do know that. Um, there has been things that I've always wanted to do, but because of fear, it just got in the way. And just, you know, after I launched my boutique and my adult toy line, I felt like I could take over the world. I fear absolutely nothing but God. Like, if there's something that I want to do, I'm going to do it. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. And if it does work out, perfect. I'm going to keep it moving. I will no longer allow fear to get in the way of anything that I want, I'm wanting to do. Basically telling me, like, you know, certain things he feel like, um he's not wanting to ask people um for help and i understand because sometimes you know especially nowadays everybody's selling something everybody could be a coach to something you don't know who's real who's fake listening to him vent basically and i'm just like you know what i can help you to register in your business your yin whatever it is that you need help with i can help you I know a lot of people are charging the arm and a leg, but just listening to his story, you can tell he's wanting to do the right thing. And when you run across people like that, you should really find the time to like really help them. Not see him as a, a dollar sign. I know we all love money. Me personally, I love my money. I don't love other people's money. I love the money that I earn, I work for, that I'm blessed with. I love that. I'm not into uh, other people's pockets and all that other stuff, no. He was just talking to me and telling me the things that he wants to do and you know, time gets in the way. You can't let time get in the way because one thing's for sure, and this is not me knocking my nine to five because of them a lot. Listen, with my nine to five, I was able to, <laughs> I've said this before, go into debt, get out of debt, build wealth so i'm really not knocking my nine to five one thing i will say is that i've seen where my nine to five replace people like it ain't nothing like next page next on they, they be on to the next and you can't blame them because they're running the business however at the same time i just you know i tell people all the time people i come across at my job it's very important that you 
build something for yourself because at the end of the day yes i've been with my nine to five for 10 years something happens to me where i'm no longer here i can't give my i can't tell them oh leave my position for my kids i can't so i was telling him like you know yeah i got i understand you got your nine to five but you gotta make sure you leave something for those he was telling me he has four kids you gotta make sure you leave something for those four kids they're not gonna give you nothing absolutely nothing hopefully by the time i get back they are all said and done i'm gonna go in there finish my sunday dinner and then out to get these ugly things off because yeah when i first got them done i was like you can't tell me nothing uh, hey hey but now i'm just like this shit is ugly get it off me all right so i'm finally done cooking sunday's dinner i made stew chicken and rice call it a day this lady better not have take no one else before me because I'm on a time schedule. Tiffany, perfect. She's ready for me. That's what I'm talking about. Yours, damn right, it's better than yours. I could teach you, but I have to see you. 